Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another 10 pens currently inked this week. I think let's go through these briefly one by one. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right, we have the Anoto and this is the Magna Carta. We have an Anoto and this is the British Museum Great Court. We have a Visconti Opera Master and this is the Antarctica. We have a Visconti St. Basil. We have a Scribo Phil in the Verde Prato. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Demo Stones in Sapphire. We have a Classic Pens LB5 in KN. We have a Visconti Opera Master Savannah. We have a, a Yarda Lead, and this is uh, the Viceroy Grand Victorian. And we have a Yarda Lead uh, Viceroy Grand Barley. So I think let's take a look at these pens uh, in a little bit more detail. So this is the Magna Carta. Um, I, this is a pen that really... Uh, feels just right for me uh, you can see uh, the coin finial there uh, very beautiful coin finial i have to say uh, you do have uh, an aged look to the trims uh, now this can be polished up to actually polish it a little bit more um, and then you have the inscription parts of the original magna carta on the cap there beautiful pen and you can see also here uh it says uh if i look at here uh magna carta on the cat band and then uh, 12 15. uh you also have the magna carta also there on the body and also the coat of arms as well on that shield uh beautiful pen I have to say that anoso did very good work on this pen uh, it is a solid silver, sterling uh, AG95 silver pen. Very weighty, around about 90 to 95 grams in weight. Uh, so it is a heavy pen. But uh, and this is made by UK silversmiths and goldsmiths. Uh, very, very well made. Um, the quality here is uh, superb. It does have a number 7 size Anoto nib. It's a fine nib. I got on this one. Uh, it is a cartridge converter, but you can see there, I don't have a lot of ink left in it. So uh, it will be interesting to see if I can actually get this through uh, the writing sample. Um, the cap isn't uh, supposed to post, so uh, unfortunately you won't be able to post the cap. If you were, it would be so bank weighted, it would be unreal that you just wouldn't want to post that cap. But I have that pen inked up with me this week as well. And I am really liking the Anotos a little bit more now. I have a number of them in my collection. And that brings me on to the next Anoto, which is the British Museum, uh, the Great Court. Uh, so you do not have a cap finial as in a coin or medallion. But you do have this lovely uh, decorative sort of ceiling there. Uh, plus also you, you can see the ceiling there as well uh, in terms of a window. Uh, you do have a lovely uh, gold, yellow gold clip and trim here. And then you have this beautiful gold enameling, uh, which is over a silver body. So again, it's around 95 grams in weight. Beautiful pen. Uh, you can just see that there. That is a really beautiful pattern. Um, if I unscrew the cap, again, you have a solid silver section. Uh, you have a number seven size uh, Anoto nib there. Again, that's a fine nib uh, that you have there. Uh, and then if I uh, show you in the size of my hand, it's actually a long pen. So um, again, you can't post that cap. It's not designed to do so. But you really wouldn't want to because 95 grams... The, the cap actually weighs, I want to say, a little bit sort of more than the body. Uh, at least that's the way it feels. So it's going to be very back weighted if you were able to post the cap there. So uh, I have that one inked up. I really do love writing with these Anotos. Um, if, if you have watched a lot of my videos before, 
you will know I'm a fan of the Visconti nibs. Uh, they are Bock nibs. Uh, the Enoto Gold nibs are also Bock nibs as well. So I, I think that's part of the reason why I started getting a couple of Enotos and it's sort of gone a little bit south from there. Or should I say north, uh, depending on which way you look at it. Uh, but uh, I have added a few Enotos to my collection now. Nowhere near as much as uh, the Viscontis I have, but still, um, yes, it's becoming a bit of an issue, I would say. Uh, the next pen here, inked up, uh, it was a, a newer pen towards the end of last year. Uh, this is the Visconti Opera Master, and this is the Antarctica. Uh, 888 limited edition, 37 made. Um, I do like the way that uh, Visconti uh, marked that on the pen. Although, if you were to try and get this pen repaired and parts replaced, they have to re-engrave that. So, it's it's a bit of sweet, I guess, but um, it also means that you can't sort of tamper with and swap parts around a little bit more. Um, it is a beautiful pen. Uh, you've got the Visconti uh, V Capfinial logo there. You can see there. Uh, you've got the lovely blue enameling on the Visconti clip there as well. Uh, it is a Paravac. Uh, it is a double reservoir. Uh, you've got the hook safe lock mechanism, uh, the silver section or chrome section, uh, which I believe still is actually um, plated in palladium. Uh, and uh, the uh, number six size in house Visconti uh, 18 karat gold nib. That's a medium nib. Um, previous Visconti Opera Masters. Didn't, they had an ink window, but they didn't have a hook safe lock. They had a, a, a metal uh, thread on the section here. Um, I, I still think it's it's a bit weird to not have that now. Um, but it's just something that Visconti changed to. So um, so the older uh, Opera Masters did actually have a, um, a threaded section there. Um I do find uh, the hook safe lock mechanism on this one is a little tight. Uh, and uh, in the colder weather, it becomes slightly more tighter as well. Uh, the next pen here inked up is uh, the Visconti St. Basil. Uh, now, this is a celluloid pen. It is a thick pen, a very girthy pen. Uh, but it has this beautiful red, blue, black uh, celluloid. Uh, also has a real ruby as well in uh, the uh, cap finial there. Uh, and also has uh, red enameling on the Visconti clip as well. Uh, you have all this lovely gold trim and this gold inlay or inset here of St. Basil. Uh, very, very beautiful. And then a uh, inscription there as well. Now, this is a thread uh, and... It is a Paravac. It's a double reservoir. Um, doesn't have the hook safe lock mechanism. Has a number six size Visconti 23 cap palladium medium nib. I do love this pen a lot. Um, you, the cap isn't designed to post on this one. Uh, but uh, again, you're not going to want to. It's such a large pen. You really do not want to post this pen. Um, in terms of length, uh, uh, okay, maybe you might want to post it because you don't want to lose the cap. You don't want to put the cap down on a desk. I get that, but still, I, I, I'm i not normally a cap poster. So there you have it. Um, the next pen uh, inked up is the Scribo Feel, and this is in the Verde Prato. I had this inked up last week as well. Uh, you can see there the uh, Feather logo on the cap finial. Uh, it is all ruthenium plated, uh, which is really nice. And then you do have uh, the Fill the Writing uh, logo there and Scribo. Um, it is a piston filling pen, so it holds around about a milliliter of ink. Uh, it does have a ruthenium plated nib. It is a 14 karat gold flex or extra flex or extra flesser belay nib. Uh, very, very, very nice uh, writing experience. Very bouncy. The 18 count gold nibs are considered soft nibs. The 14 count gold are very soft nibs. Uh, so you will get a bit of bounce to them. Uh, I do like the screwbow feels. Uh, I do like the size and I like the weight of them. They're quite, 
I want to say lightweight. They're they're not lightweight, but they they are lightweight compared to maybe the Visconti St. Basil or the Visconti Opera Master, and definitely the Anotos. So uh, it is a, a nice weight. Uh, probably nice weight is probably the way to say it. The next pen inked up is this one, and this is the Visconti Homo Sapiens uh, Demo Stones in Sapphire Blue. And you do have that blue sapphire uh, sort of cap finial. Um, it's not a precious gemstone in the demo stones. Uh, it is just a plastic uh, demo stone, unlike the St. Basil where it has a real ruby. Uh, this is a Homo sapiens. Um, I do like this a lot. I do like the Homo sapiens demos demonstrators. Uh, it is a power vac. Uh, it is a double reservoir. It's a hook safe lock mechanism. Uh, this one does have a 14 karat gold nib. The demo stones uh, do have the 14 karat gold nibs. Uh, this is an in-house nib from Visconti. Uh, it's a very good writer. I just I'm not that keen on the inscription on the nib. Uh, just reminds me of a cross. Whereas I would much prefer the fleur de lis. But um, in terms of writing experience, there's no difference between this and one of the other um, fleur de lis nibs from Visconti, um, be it a 14 or an 18 karat gold nib. It really doesn't feel any different so and doesn't write any different to me anyway. The next pen inked up is the Classic Pens LB5 in the KN. A beautiful pen. Um, it is a classic pen as well as a, a classic uh, Pens LB5. These were made by Sailor, and it says LB5 there, and uh, it says KN, because that's the model, 38 of 50, uh, beautiful pen. These retailed, uh, I think, I want to think it was around about $1,500, maybe a bit less, um, when they, they came out. It might have been even $1,250, $1,300. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Andy Lambrew's Classic Pen site has now disappeared. So uh, unless you use the Wayback Machine to go back and look at the Internet Archives, uh, or if, if you've cached a version of it, then unfortunately you're not going to be able to see it. So uh, that is a shame. Uh, beautiful pen. So glad I was able to add this to my collection. Very, very beautiful pen. Uh, and... Uh, I would like other colors. I've got it in the brown. I've uh, got it in the uh, cow, uh, what was it called? The cow secchi. And I can show you that in the brown as well. So I have that here. Um, I would like it in other colors, but uh, for now, um, the the cost of these pens are typically are selling between $5,000 and $8,000. So there's no way that I'm going to be picking up uh, another color of this pen. If somebody wants to do a trade or somebody uh, wants to offer a more reasonable price, and maybe I might pick up one in the future, but uh, I'm not going to be picking them up for, for that, that sort of crazy expensive price. Um, this uh, does have a King of Pen size nib. Uh, it is actually made by Sailor, so it's a Sailor 1911 uh, King of Pen nib. Uh, it is a cartridge converter pen. Uh, you can post the cap there. Uh, and uh, it will post quite nicely as well. Uh, so I, I do like writing with that. It's uh, I do like Sailor King of Pens and Sailor King of Pen nibs. So I do like writing with that. And also so the KN and also the Cal Secchi as well. As well as my other Sailor King of Pens that I do have in my collection. The next pen here is the Visconti Opera Master Savannah. Really beautiful pen here. Um, uh, I do like this pen a lot. It has a really, really beautiful pattern to it. Uh, I, I have to say, I am really uh, loving this pen. Uh, I, I was a little bit disappointed. I got this at, at an auction, and uh, it's 277 of 888. Uh, I didn't have the, op the option of actually choosing the nib. It, the reason why I was disappointed is it had a broad nib on it. And I really wanted a, a fine or a medium nib. Uh, but that said, with this color, um, having a broad nib on it, I think works really well. Uh, it's got the in-house Visconti 18 karat gold nib there. Uh, when I say having a broad nib on this works really well, because it, it being a sort of a, an apricot or a mango color ink that I'm using, 
uh, it just shows off the ink a lot better. So um, it just worked much, much better, I, I think, anyway, than maybe a medium or fine nib would have been. The next pen inked up is a Yarder Lead, and it's a Viceroy Grand, uh, and this is in the Victorian. Now, there are over 3,000 hammer strikes to uh, this pen to make this pattern. Absolutely stunning. It is solid silver, so it's AG925, uh, so it will tarnish, and you can polish it up, and there is a hallmark there as well that you can probably see. Um, it is a push cap, though. It's not a screw cap. I kind of wish it was a screw cap, but I can understand the reason why, perhaps, being all silver. It has a number six size Yada lead nib. Uh, that is a fine nib. It is a cartridge converter pen. Um, you can post the cap as well, uh, and it does post quite nicely. Um, I'm not... As you know, a cap poster, but you can post that cap. The clip uh, is uh, shaped here uh, and also riveted as well onto the body there. Uh, so uh, that works quite well. And then the last pen I have inked up again is another Yarder Lead Grand, a uh, Viceroy Grand, and this is the Barley or Barley Corn. Uh, and you can see that this has a very sort of barley like pattern going on uh that you can see there again you've got the uh silver hallmarks there uh you have the clip with the rivets on um very very nice pen again another push clip um and you've got the silver section here and you have a number six size yard of lead nib this is a medium nib um the strange thing is it is that these sections actually bulbous out slightly rather than concave um which does make it feel a little bit weird to me because i'm used to concave so i do find my fingers slipping a little bit on these um you can post the cap as well and it will post securely uh this is solid silver the, the cap is lighter than the body but it still will make it a little bit back weighted but um that's just one thing to bear in mind but Beautiful pen. I uh, have to say that uh, I, I do like uh, both of these pens a lot. I am a little bit more of a fan of the Victorian in terms of the pattern over the barley, but uh, I do do like both of them. So that's my 10 pens currently inked this week. I think let's now go and do a writing sample. So the first pen uh, inked up this week is the Inoto Magna Carta. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now, I have to say, I do like this fine nib, and I do like the very dark grey ink that I have inked this pen up with. I think it matches perfectly. Uh, this is the Enoto Magna Carter, and it is a uh, fine, and it is an 18 cat gold nib. And the ink in here is Diamine Earl Grey. Now, I do have quite a few other grey inks, but typically most of the grey inks I have are lighter than this one. Uh, I think maybe the only one actually still going to be lighter is uh, uh, Pilot of Oshizuku Kiri Sami, but that's it is a darker grey, but it's still a little bit it's more of a bluer grey, I would say. Uh, but still a little bit lighter, I think, compared to Diamine Earl Grey, from what I recall. The next pen inked up is the Anoto, and this is the British Museum Great Court. We'll do an ink swatch, and again, this is another fine 18 cat gold nib. Um, I do find that these write quite nice. I never thought I would really like a fine nib, but... I really am. So for me, this is actually quite nice. I'm glad I've got both of these. I did get the option to choose the Anoto Magna Carta, the, the nib width. This one I did not. Um, so uh, it, I was stuck with a fine nib. I could always buy a medium nib and swap it out. But I do like how this writes. So this is the Anoto. Oh, 
I'll say Magna Carta. It's not. It's it's the uh, British uh, Museum. The thing is, I was actually reading that when I was trying to write it. British Museum, Great Court. And it is a fine. And again, it's an 18 cat gold nib. And the ink in here is uh, Venvistus Aqua de Spargi. But that uh, is a very beautiful turquoise ink, very similar to Visconti turquoise. And I'm going to show you that on the next pen as well. This is the Visconti Opera Master Antarctica. So we'll do an ink swatch. And I think, and I hope you will agree with me, certainly uh, off camera in real life, uh, and I'm pretty sure it's going to look the same mostly on camera, that this ink once dry is going to look very, very similar. So this is the Visconti Opera Master Antarctica and again it uh, this is a medium it's not a fine nib but it actually writes more like a fine uh, and it's an 18 cat gold nib as well both box nibs uh, and then the ink in here is uh, Visconti turquoise but I think you will agree that they, both of those inks look really really close The next pen inked up is the Visconti St. Basil. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is a very, very wet writing nib. Um, very, very wet writing nib. And I love it. I really do love it. So this is the uh, Visconti. Uh, and it's the St. Basil. And it is a medium, and it's a 23 cat palladium nib. And then the ink in here is a Mont Blanc corn poppy red. But that is a very, very, very nice uh, color ink. Uh, and it flows beautifully well in this pen. Uh, so that's why I tend to ink that pen up with that ink. The next pen is the Scribo Fill in the Verde Prato. So we'll do an ink swatch. And again, lovely wet writing nib. Um, I do find this ink is a little bit more on the drier side though. So this is the uh, Scribo Fill in the Verde Prato. And it's a medium, and it's a 14 cat gold extra flex nib. And then the ink in here is a Ackerman Dutch Masters, and it's a Van Hoysum's Sapgrun. But very, very nice, light green grassy meadow ink. The next pen is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Demo Stones in Sapphire. And we'll do an ink swatch. And see here, a uh, very, very nice blue ink. And uh, this is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Demo stones in sapphire, and it is a uh, medium, and it's a fourteen cat gold nib. Uh, and then the uh, ink in here is actually Visconti turquoise again, but you'll see that the color here is is actually quite different. It's actually a darker blue. Uh, and it will change colour depending on the wetness of the nib and the broadness of the nib as well. And that's the same with all inks. 
The next pen inked up is the Classic Pens LV5 in the KN. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Now, this is a medium, uh, and it is an 18 count gold nib. But I do find, because it's a uh, sailor nib, it's uh, a Western... Um, uh, it, it's, it's an Asian... Uh, depiction of a, a western medium nib so uh, an asian nib will um if if it's a, a western medium um then even though this is called a medium it will be in asian terms it will be more like a, a fine or a medium fine so this is the uh, classic pens lb5 in the kn and it is a medium, although typically I would say it's a little bit more of a fine nib. And then the uh, um, nib material, it's a 21 count gold nib because it's a Sailor King of Pen nib. Uh, the ink in here is a uh, Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red, which I do have also inked up in the Visconti St. Basil. But again, you're going to see the difference here in the color between these two pens that this is going to look probably a bit darker than this one will do. The next pen is the Visconti Opera Master Savannah. So we'll do an ink swatch. And I really do like this broad nib. I have to say I'm actually a fan of it. It works really well. So this is the Visconti Opera Master Savannah. And it is a broad uh, 18 cat gold nib, in house nib from Visconti. And then the ink in here is um, uh, Lamy Mango, which is a beautiful color ink. And I think that that broad nib really does show it off. The next pen is the Yard of Lead, and this is the Viceroy Grand in the Victorian. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is... Can you hear that? That's... I don't know if you could hear that, but that is the nib singing. So this nib does sing a little bit, um, but uh, I do still like it. Um, I'm not really a fan of singing nibs. So this is the Yard O Lead. And it's the uh, uh, Viceroy Grand. And uh, it is the Victorian. Now that does have a fine nib. And it's an 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is uh, Noodler's Habanero, which is actually quite a nice coloured ink. Uh, so I do like that one quite a bit. And then the last pen is the Yarder Lead, and this is the Viceroy Grand in the Barley. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is a lovely colour ink, I find, as well. So this is... Oh, I think it's uh, getting... Yeah, it's getting low on ink. Let me have a look. And it's the uh, Viceroy. And it's the Grand. And it's the Barley. Uh, it's a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib. And the ink in here is a uh, Rora and Klinger. And it's Verdura. Which uh, is quite an interestingly green ink. Uh, mid, mid to darker green, I would say. So I think let's take a look at these pens inked up one more time. 
We have an Anota Magna Carta in a fine 18 cat gold nib, inked up with diamine Earl Grey. We have an Anoto British Museum Great Court in a fine 18 cat gold nib, inked up with Venvistus Aqua di Spargi. We have a Visconti Opera Master Antarctica in a medium 18 cat gold nib, inked up with Visconti Turquoise. We have a Visconti St. Basil in a medium 23 cat palladium nib, inked up with Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red. We have a Scribo Fuel in the Verde Prato in a medium 14 carat gold nib inked up with Ackermann Dutch Masters Van Hoysum Sapgron. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Demostone Sapphire in a medium 14 carat gold nib inked up with Visconti Turquoise. We have a Classic Pens LB5KN in a medium 21 carat gold nib inked up with Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red. We have a Visconti Opera Master Savannah in a broad 18 carat gold nib, inked up with Lamy Mango. We have a Yard Led Viceroy Grand Victorian in a fine 18 carat gold nib, inked up with Noodler's Habanero. And then we have a Yard Led Viceroy Grand Barley or Barley Corn in a medium 18 carat gold nib, inked up with Rora and Klinger Verdura. So there you have it. That's my current ink pens for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.